For decades, search for extraterrestrial intelligence efforts, also known as SETI, has searched for extraterrestrial intelligence by listening for signals similar to our own, especially radio transmissions. But a new scientific study suggests this approach may be too narrow. Researchers now argue that advanced civilizations might communicate using highly optimized, low-energy signals that blend into cosmic backgrounds, more like fireflies than radio towers. By studying how biological systems on Earth evolve efficient communication, scientists are proposing a new way to identify artificial signals in space. In this video, we will explore what this study found, why it matters for SETI, and what it could change. Let's get started. The starting point of this research is a growing concern within SETI. Most search strategies are shaped by assumptions drawn from human technological history. For decades, radio signals dominated CT efforts because they were once the most powerful and detectable form of long-distance communication on Earth. Radio waves travel far, pass through interstellar space with little loss, and were relatively easy to generate at scale. The problem is that this phase of technological development may be short. Human civilization itself is becoming increasingly radio quiet. Modern communication relies on fiber optics, satellites, compression, and narrowly directed transmissions. As a result, Earth now leaks far fewer detectable radio signals into space than it did several decades ago. If other civilizations follow similar trajectories, the window during which they are easily detectable via radio may be brief. The new study, led by researchers at Arizona State University and collaborating institutions, proposes shifting the focus away from specific technologies and toward how communication systems evolve under constraints. Rather than asking what tools extraterrestrial civilizations might use, the researchers ask how any communication system, biological or artificial, would behave when shaped by energy efficiency and environmental noise. To explore this idea, they turn to biology, using fireflies as a guiding example. Fireflies communicate using short flashes of light that are not random. Each species produces distinctive flash patterns that allow individuals to recognize one another while minimizing energy use and reducing exposure to predators. These patterns evolved through natural selection to stand out from complex backgrounds just enough to be effective. The researchers hypothesized that advanced civilizations might adopt a similar strategy. Instead of transmitting powerful or information-dense messages, an intelligent species might use signals optimized to be distinguishable from their surroundings while remaining energy efficient. To test this concept, the team developed a computational model inspired by Firefly, signaling and applied it to an astrophysical context. They selected pulsars as the background environment. Pulsars emit highly regular, repeating signals and are abundant throughout the Milky Way. Their predictable emissions make them an ideal natural reference against which artificial patterns could be compared. Within this simulated pulsar environment, the researchers introduced artificial signals that evolved under constraints similar to biological communication systems. These signals were shaped by two competing pressures, minimizing energy use and maximizing distinctiveness from the background. Over many iterations, the signals became increasingly optimized. The result was a set of signals that were neither complex messages nor random noise. Instead, they were structured, low energy patterns that stood out statistically from natural pulsar emissions. Importantly, many of these optimized signals were easier to detect than most pulsars themselves, despite requiring significantly less energy. This finding suggests that advanced civilizations might not need to broadcast loudly or continuously to be noticed. Subtle, well-structured signals could be sufficient, provided they are shaped to contrast with their environment. The significance of this work lies in how it reframes the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Traditionally, SETI has operated between two extremes, searching for familiar, human-like technologies or scanning for unexplained anomalies without a strong theoretical framework. Both approaches have limitations. 
Familiar signals risk missing non-human forms of intelligence, while anomaly-based searches can struggle to distinguish artificial patterns from unknown natural phenomena. This study introduces a framework grounded in evolutionary principles. Across Earth's biosphere, communication systems tend to evolve toward a balance between efficiency and detectability. Signals are shaped not to dominate their environment, but to function effectively within it. This principle holds across many forms of life, regardless of complexity. From this perspective, intelligence does not need to produce elaborate or information-rich messages to be detectable. Instead, intelligence may be inferred from structure. Signals that exhibit optimization, patterns that are unlikely to arise by chance while remaining physically efficient, can indicate purposeful design without requiring semantic interpretation. This distinction is important. Detectability does not require decipherability. A signal does not need to be understood to suggest intelligence. It only needs to show properties that reflect selection rather than randomness. Firefly flashes are a useful analogy because they are unmistakably biological, even though they carry no meaning in a human linguistic sense. Applying this logic to SETI shifts the focus away from specific technologies. Instead of asking whether extraterrestrial civilizations use radio, lasers, or other familiar tools, the question becomes whether their signals show evidence of optimization shaped by environmental constraints. This approach also helps clarify what is meant by intelligence in the context of SETI. Intelligence is often loosely defined, sometimes equated with technological advancement. By grounding the concept in communication shaped by selection pressures, intelligence becomes something that can be inferred from behavior rather than assumed from technology. In this framework, intelligence is not defined by how advanced a civilization is, but by how effectively it interacts with its environment. Signals shaped by constraints such as energy cost and background noise carry signatures that differ from purely natural processes. By drawing on biology and complexity science, this work connects SETI more closely with empirical observations of life on Earth. It suggests that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence may benefit from studying not just human communication, but the broader principles that govern signaling across living systems. If this framework proves useful, it could influence how future CT searches are conducted. Rather than focusing exclusively on specific frequencies or message-like structures, researchers may prioritize identifying statistically optimized patterns embedded within astrophysical noise. This shift opens the door to interdisciplinary methods. Techniques developed in animal communication research and digital bioacoustics are designed to identify structured signals in complex environments. Similar tools could be adapted to analyze astronomical data, especially as machine learning methods become more capable of recognizing subtle patterns. The implications extend beyond radio astronomy. Any medium that contains structured background noise could, in principle, host optimized artificial signals. Optical light, neutrinos, and even gravitational waves may all be potential channels, depending on the constraints faced by a given civilization. This framework also encourages reconsideration of how advanced civilizations might choose to communicate. Signals optimized for efficiency and subtlety may be more sustainable over long timescales than energy-intensive broadcasting. Such strategies could reduce detectability by unintended observers while remaining visible to those actively searching. It is important to emphasize that this research is theoretical. The study does not claim to have detected extraterrestrial signals, nor does it propose a specific signal to search for. Instead, it outlines a plausible class of signals that current SETI efforts may overlook. The next step is practical application. Researchers would need to develop detection algorithms capable of identifying optimized structures in real observational data. Existing pulsar catalogs and archival surveys provide a natural starting point for testing these ideas. Even if no artificial signals are found, the framework itself represents progress. It broadens the conceptual space of SETI and reduces dependence on assumptions drawn from human technological history. 
By focusing on general principles rather than specific technologies, the search becomes more robust to uncertainty. Advanced civilizations may communicate through subtle, energy-efficient signals shaped by evolution rather than loud broadcasts. By learning from biological communication like firefly flashes, SETI can expand how it defines and searches for intelligence. If such signals exist, they may already be hidden in the cosmic background, waiting to be recognized. <laughs>